Hey guys, this is Tolhi and welcome to uh, Let's Play Spore Part 14. Um, so, oh, I didn't mean to go into the surface of the planet. Um, last time we were still going through the tutorial stuff. Um, so mission accomplished. Uh, okay, let's see here. We knew we weren't alone in the galaxy. Traces of ex extinct civilization, hostile security drones, and the rocks. It's obvious that we must continue our exploration of the galaxy and potentially prepare for hostiles. In order to do so, we'll need to set up colonies as our base of operations. Our scientists have been have already reverse engineered the interstellar drive to replicate its technology. We also developed an uh, SETI device for your ship. It also picks up uh, signals for other si si sentient life in the galaxy indicated by the radio signals over stars that you target. It's doing so good too. Uh, okay, so blah blah blah. Need to expand expand our empire. Uh, Retur. Few volunteers to pardon. Uh, okay. They establish a colony. Uh. So we need to colonize what planet? Um. Place a colony on the planet, uh, which is found in a different system. Baca Colonia. Mission filter. Uh, okay. Uh, there's species living on that star. Oh. 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 Okay. I see. It's up from my 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 galaxy, so I need to go up this way. That's weird. Okay. So. Uh, zoom in, I guess, till we get here, and then planets in green are easy to terraform and colonize than planets on red or blue orbit paths. Okay, so we want to go here. Colonies can be established on any plan from bare moons to uh, lush Terra Score 3 oases. Fruitful colonies mine spices that can be traded. Okay. Uh, place a colony where? Okay, we'll go with there. Colony created. Uh, you've grown your empire. Each colony productivity is tied in its size. Size is limited by the Terra score of a planet. Investing in terraforming, then adding colonies and buildings to reap the highest rewards. Okay, so that's that. Report back to the home world. Zoom out once. Zoom out twice. Okay. You have collected spice, a valuable commodity, collected from your colonies and homeworld each time you visit them. Cool. Uh, excellent work. Uh, kind of frequency. Uh, terraforming. Okay, whatever. Um, advanced beings. Uh, do I want to go help them? Not really, but I suppose I should. Short range communicator is equipped with the universal translator that will be able to communicate with alien races you might encounter. You'll need to travel within their solar system to communicate with them. Uh, where do I find them? Blah blah blah. Radio lines, blah blah blah. Indication, blah blah blah. Uh, return home to repair and recharge your ship when needed or check in with mission control on other space program assignments. Uh, okay, so I need to contact aliens. Um, how do I, uh, repair my ship then? Oh, okay. Repair. 
Recharge. Trade? Oh, I need more money to be able to buy another colony. Hmm. Currently sitting at, oh, not too bad. But if I could sell some of this spice, I might be able to get more. More money, that is. Okay, so I need to contact another alien species. Seeing as these guys are fairly close, we will contact with them. Drake's equation was right, a living alien species, we're not alone. Spacey, spe another alien race, we're not alone. And it looks like they have sent to MV to... Uh, perhaps you should talk to them, open your communication panel. Blah blah blah, blah blah blah, talk to people. Um, I come in peace. Uh, blah blah blah. Okay. Um. Goodbye. Yay! I didn't have to do anything. I can apparently look at empires. Oh, these are filters for what shows up on the map, I guess. Don't really see a difference. Yeah, I'll, I'll worry about making friends with the people, the neighbors next door later. Um, for the time being, though, uh, let us see what other missions we can get into. Uh, sure. Visit colonies and spice will automatically be loaded. Cool. Uh, okay, so I gotta go make a deal with the new alien species. <sighs> Space mode is not my favorite mode for sure. Okay, uh, let's see here. Uh, pleasure to see you. Diplomacy. Wait. Not diplomacy. Trade. Uh, oh, we're not, we're not friends enough. Okay. Oh, uh, cash. Nah, I'm still not friends. How about if I ask for an alliance? Okay, I apparently got a mission. Tell me more. Oh, beam down. Okay, cool. This is actually galactic venture stuff. Uh, an adventure count me in. Once you get there, beam down to the planet, you'll have an opportunity to equip your landing party before beaming down. Some adventures allow you to beam down members of your flight squad. Your payment will be waiting for you in return. Awesome. Uh, visit Tadagyo on the planet. Okay, so travel to this star. And then travel to this planet and then zoom in becoming a space captain a uh, quick visit to the spaceport to learn about the advanced to, about the importance of adventures in space phase here you will learn how to get adventures and what it means to advance yourself through the ranks to become the greatest spore captain in the galaxy oh totally doing this Oh, do we have skill trees? Awesome. Um, let's see here. I have no equipment. Uh, enter outfitter. The enemy energy meter tracks how much energy some abilities use and how much is stored and recharged by battery generators. If you run out of energy, you won't be able to use abilities. Pull the power handle on your any accessory that has one to increase its ability level and energy consumption. What?
Oh, jetpack. Why does a dragon with wind wings need jet a jetpack? Because it's awesome. Okay, whatever. So I guess I can't equip him with anything that would be galactic adventure based. Um, so I guess that's it. So I guess just beam down. Okay, beaming down. Uh, welcome to Ter Vat Gear Vat to go Vat to go. A busting a bustering spaceport with a lot of interesting characters. Speak with locals to find out more about adventures and become a legendary space captain. Uh, your captain will gain experience once you successfully complete this adventure. You may track your captain's progression in Sporpedia. When on a planet, you control the captain the same way you control the creature in creature space phase. Be careful to keep your energy level high enough or you won't be able to use some of your abilities. Equip your captain with batteries and generators to increase energy. The minimap is useful for navigation on the map planet. Your captain's position, goal, and starting locations all appear on the minimap. Progress bar shows goals that have been accomplished and how many are left. Once the bar is fully, the adventure is complete. Spaceport Authority and its here servant welcome. Welcome you, Captain. If you're looking to become a great spa space captain, you've come to the right place. Uh, local life forms, uh, merchants notify you of their latest merchants and how you possess them. Uh, behind me, the space travel, I informed you, blah, 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 don't care. To the right, quartermaster will tell you about crew matters and on and off planets. That is all. Merchant. Hello, friend. Come closer. Closer. Not too close. You want to see good stuff? I got a pulse gun for you, a lightning sword, and a rig and ring. There are 32 new accessories to choose from, all of which have unique abilities. To unlock parts, you'll need to rise up in the ranks of captain. Unlock a new part for each captain level. To equip new accessories, enter the outfitter. Just before you go into an adventure, by clicking on Enter Outfitter button. There you can equip your captain with appropriate accessories. Good luck. Oh, he doesn't actually sell me anything? He's just... Oh, social? Let's not try and kill the merchant. Seeing as he has infinite health. Why am I doing this? I'm not very social apparently. Uh, what is this about? Yo ho, Captain. Always nice to see a fellow traveler around these parts. I was sent here by my homeworld like you, but my ship ran out of energy. I got stranded here. Next time you want to go on an adventure, don't bother asking your f other your own folks, though. Visit our empires. They all have missions for you, many of which have will be planetary adventures. To ensure you never run out of adventures, go subscribe to Spore cast spuddy feeds and download your own adventures keep your sporopedia full of adventures is important uh, if you would like to leave an adventure that you beam down to don't panic click the exit adventure button and boom you'll be back on your ship have fun cool and quartermaster hello quartermaster snuffle 
at your service. No, Captain, Captain is complete without a good sir? crew to beam down with. You'll probably want to know how, huh? That's easy. You can have tons of charisma like me and recruit them on the planet. Right, guys? But that's only temporary. Making allies with other empires will add them to your fleet and your crew will beam down with you. Not all adventures allow you to beam down your crew with you. Also, your crew will be saved from one adventure to the next as long as you keep your allies on friendly terms and alive. You'll be golding. Got it? Good. Alright. Uh, talk to Captain Sonny. Oh, this guy? Hey, kiddo. I got back from Gamma, uh, Gamma Mega 9 and busted an illegal spore fitted porching ring. Those cheeky gazards won't be causing any more trouble. Man, the names. Ah, I skipped a bit. Shoot. Uh, first thing you'll want to do is hone up on your captain skills by talking, taking adventure missions from other, uh, from alien <gasps> empires. By completing adventures, you'll earn experience towards new captain ranks, allowing you to unlock new accessories and abilities. Uh, you'll also unlock powerful super weapons for your spaceship. What are you waiting for? Get off this trash pile and go find some work. Talk to the head bot. I hope your data mining endeavor proved bountiful, Captain. As you can see, there is an, a galaxy adventure waiting, for, a galaxy of adventures awaiting you, and a galaxy waiting for the next great space captain. It appears your paperwork is in order. Your journey begins now. You are, are you ready? Return to your home planet to complete the mission. Goodbye. Well, I guess uh, that's it. Mission complete. Beam me up, Scotty. Congratulations, you completed your first adventure. You'll, you're will you ready to take on more adventures and raise your captain skill. Oh, yay. Something, something. Oh. Oh, and you choose your award at the end of each one. Battle armor. Poison Blade, Energy Slash, Mind Meld, oh we're going Mind Meld, what is Shaman, Shamans understand that all life shares a common bond, that the entire galaxy exists with none of us, Warrior, yeah we're going Shaman, we are going to get the Poison Blade 1, and eventually we will get the Mind Meld. Ooh, and in the end we'll get return ticket. Ooh, wait, maybe I should look at these. Mystical pirate portal. Return you to your home planet. Leave cultures and buildings back to stone. Oh, level. Oh, wow. Levels. Um, instantly fills your cargo with all species on the planet. Mobilizes enemy ships and turrets on the planet. Um used to produce a calming effect on alien races temporarily boosting your relationship cash infusion why is that one white do i already have that ability maybe instantly make trading systems available for purchase convert aliens own systems to your own empire hmm. i think i'm gonna go with this one because i like to have an actual uh space weapon and then from there we'll see what happens but Mind meld seems pretty cool. So done. Okay, and so we've been recording for a while now, guys. So, um, gonna stop here, I think. Um, so next time, I think we'll actually try an actual adventure. If I misread any of that, I'm sorry, but I probably did. No, ooh, spaceship. Um, reading aloud is not my best ability. Something I am working on, though. Um. Right. Anyways, I should end this video, though. So, uh, this is Tolhee signing out. Later, guys.